existing industry report, Al. Madam Chairman, Board, you have the summary uh, in front of you. I'd just like to briefly address a few uh, items from the summary. Uh, with regards to existing industry, we're working with four companies to support operations and product line expansion. We're going to showcase one of those this evening, and Mr. Guthrie will be talking about that one specifically in our attorney's report. That relates to Home Depot. Uh, and then we're also in discussions now with three companies that are developing expansion plans to meet some emerging customer demand. Let's take just a minute to look at Home Depot. Uh, I know you're familiar with the expansion for trailer parking uh, that's currently underway now. Uh, this is the track of land that Mr. Gupton will be discussing with us on the lease agreement a little bit later. Uh, if you haven't had an opportunity to travel down to Lake Park and take a look at that, please do so. This is an extensive project and a significant investment for Home Depot. It includes clearing, grading, paving, storm sewer, curb and gutter and lighting and uh, we provided just a couple of shots for you if uh, you were on the Belleville Lake Park Road looking to the north that's the new fence that has been installed and uh, approximately half of that area that's been paved with the trailer parking which is there um, if you were to travel interior to the uh, back entrance of the Home Depot distribution center and then look to the south you would be now looking across some of the additional uh, work that's just now being completed. Paving was going to start on that today. And then if you were interior, looking from the north back to the south towards the Belleville Lake Park Road, uh, that's what you would see that has been finished. So we just wanted you to have a, uh, you know, a good look and opportunity to see what, uh, what was going on there. Lots of work there and a great expansion for, for Home Depot. Uh, you'll note that we began work on our e-synchronous business retention and expansion business information program software. We're now to do, doing a data pool and uploading those databases for us. Uh, and we'll be doing some training for the staff over the, couple, the next couple of weeks uh, to help us learn how to efficiently operate that uh, system. It gives us a great tool for managing existing industry <coughs> and working with expansion projects and help, helping them manage projects, identify issues, and move forward with growth and expansions. I just want to talk to you. I've worked with this program before, and this is a really good tool for, um, it can be, we can assistance track, we can track um, employment trends with the companies, we can track is issues that they may be having, opportunities for assistance, we can track all that and it'll spit it out in our nice little graph form. Um, and that information can be spit out back to us um, in an aggregate form where we're not necessarily um, you know, pinpointing certain companies, but overall we can see where we may be having challenges within the community to measure and work on some things. So it's a really good um, tool for us to use for existing. It's a great collaborative tool for partners, too, because if you're working with an existing industry and you identify an issue that's related to zoning or permitting or an issue that they may be having with electrical service, you can enter that uh, into uh, your database, and with the contacts you've established with those partnerships, it automatically flags that for them and gets them working on the issue fairly quickly. So it is an excellent tool to help us provide better service to our existing industries. And we've partnered, um, as you know, we've talked, we've been in talks with the Chamber of Commerce with their existing industry program, and they'll be able to access this information as well so that we can work together on it. They'll be able to input problems that they see or report to us. They'll be able yes. to work with us. And work with us. They'll have an um, idea. Help us with business retention expansion, surveys, and those kinds of things. Uh, that's uh, the existing industry piece. If we turn to the project report, we're, we're currently working and in preliminary discussions with three manufacturing companies that are looking for locations in the southeast to relocate or expand their manufacturing or logistics operations. So we'll keep you posted on those as they develop. Uh, you know that uh, in December, we hosted a welcome to the Ahira Business Park for Southeastern Dye Reconditioning. That was a well-attended ceremony. About 45 local elected officials, community leaders, and citizens attended that. We had very good press coverage for that event. Um, also, uh, on the 21st of December, uh, we hosted a groundbreaking ceremony for the uh, Duraki Road DuPont Project, which is currently underway on Westside Business Park. 
Again, good attendance there, about 75 folks attended, elected officials, community leaders, some citizens, and again, good, uh, excellent press coverage uh, for both of those events. Um, let's move uh, a little further down the